Okay, we're gonna do a push press. Do some standing shoulder presses. Oh, I'm feeling strong today, baby. I wasn't expecting to get 10. That's solid. Excellent. So for the beginners out there, the newbies, even for experience, I don't suggest you not wrapping your thumbs around the bar. And I'm not using crazy weight, so I can afford to not wrap my hands around the bar. And I am experienced with that. Um, just make sure to wrap your fingers around the bar. I recommend that over not wrapping the fingers around the bar. Second set, well, I'm going to use the same weight. And then, uh, pyramid up. I'm gonna save some for in the tank so I can pyramid up and wait. I wish I could play this song for you guys right now, but it's C low. Hold on. Whoop, power, lightweight. save for some more in the tank there was six let's go up i told you we're trying to put that size on his shoulders <laughs> y'all gonna see i'm gonna have my guy get on that size program too <laughs> oh it's been a long time coming okay we're gonna do a push press All right, guys, going into that see the shoulder press at a slight incline, 60 degree. Y'all know what time it is. We going up and wait. Tell you, we putting on size. <laughs> putting on size. Baby weight isn't going to put on size. Just letting you guys know that, okay? It, it's simple. It's, it's not rocket science, okay? So, doing shoulder presses with 15 pounders, 30 pounders. As a grown ass man, 100 and some pounds is not going to put on size, okay? If you just want to look slim and lean, yeah, sure. Do it, stick with it. But if you wanna look powerful and also to have some strength behind it, you gotta lift heavy. These guys don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're going back and forth because they don't know what they're talking about. We can sit down and have a discuss discussion in the conversation. Powerlifting, bodybuilding, weightlifting, they all play a role. Cardio, all this stuff all play a role. But what do you actually want at the end of the day? Right? If you want to build a better bicep, better chest, better this, you're not going to be doing powerlifting for your bicep, strongman for your bicep, weightlifting for your bicep. You're going to be doing bodybuilding stuff for your bicep. For separation, right? More fullness, bigger, thick. You're going to be doing bodybuilding movements, right? So this is size training is you want to incorporate that uh, kind of strongman mentality, I would say. Not necessarily powerlifting mentality, yes, but for that that size, strongman mentality. That's gonna help you lift heavier because that's all you're gonna be thinking about. All right, we're going up in weight so you get stronger. Let's go. Time to go up again. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, sir. Uh, 
we're gonna save reps in the tank. That's how you put on size. You save reps in the tank so you can pyramid up and go up heavier. That's how it's done. I'm giving y'all the secret. I'm giving you guys the secret, man. I'm giving you guys the blueprint. Not fake blueprint. This is natural blueprint. I've done it over and over and over for over a decade. I've transformed my body different ways to be able to spar, go around, put on size, heavy lifting, power lifting, deadlift record, bodybuilding. I love the way the bodybuilding physique look, but I don't like the diet, so I'll never step on stage. Well, I'm, I'm never, never gonna say never. I might do it when I get older so I can prove that you still can uh, accomplish something in that realm when you're at that age. Ooh, let's go. I am walking these back right now. That's all you need. Save some from the tank. That's all you need. Now to our sculpting and aesthetic training. All right, guys. About to do some seated laterals. Super set it with some red del flies, pinkies up. I think that's five, six, sure. Let me go one more just in case. Today, going with the arm straighter. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. Two, one. I don't want to do two more. I feel like it's going to be a waste of time and energy at this point. <laughs> Let's go. Now, it's okay to go, you know, I prefer to go a little bit higher repetition range um, uh, with the rear delt uh, flies at times. So this calls for one of those times. Sometimes I like to go heavy. So it all depends on what I feel, or what I feel like my muscle need or the muscle need needs, right? Not what I, Want, but what the muscle needs. Your rear delt should be burning on that third set. And trap should be activated. guys as you can see we just wrapped up our workout for size and strength obviously that's what we packing on that muscle December January February March we start cutting down in March and get ready for that summertime give us about two weeks to actually start getting used to going lighter higher repetitions bump our cardio up a little bit more especially as the foot get healthier make sure you hit that like subscribe comment etc, etc. Peace.